Hi. This is the second part of modeling the parametric timing pulley in SolidWorks. We start by creating a new part. Now we need to import the equations we prepared in the first part. Click on the Import button. Select your text file with equations, click Open. Uncheck the checkbox and click Import. Click the Rebuild button to get rid of the errors. Save the file. Select the front plane and sketch three circles from the origin. Dimension the bigger circle to be equal to D1. The middle circle to be equal to D2. The smaller circle to be equal to D3. Leave the sketch. Create a new one. Select the smaller circle, convert it to entity and extrude it. Select extrusion from mid plane. Set the width equal to B1 and extrude. Select the front plane again. Create a sketch. And create construction lines as shown in the video. The segments of the line should be collinear. All the segments of the second line should move together like that. Select the bigger circle, convert it to entity, and trim the outer part. With Smart Dimension, select the arc and then both of the side points to dimension the length of the arc, which is equal to P divided by 2. Create three lines as shown in the video. Select the two lines in the middle axis and make them symmetric. Select the middle and the other line with the second axis and make them also symmetric. Dimension the angle between the second axis and one of the lines to be equal to alpha. Dimension the tooth gap to be equal to S. Select the smaller and middle circle, convert them to entities, and trim the parts between the teeth. Select the line on the right and the top arc, and make them construction geometry. Extrude the sketch. Select mid-plane. And set the width equal to B1. Select Fillet Feature. Select the bottom tooth edges. And set the radius equal to RB. Select Fillet Feature again. Select the top tooth edges and set the radius equal to RT. Select Circular Pattern. Select the main body as the direction, and select the tooth extrusion, with the two fillets as features to pattern. Don't forget to set the number to be equal to Z. Select the front plane, sketch a circle from the origin. and dimension the circle to be equal to DC3. Extrude the sketch. Select mid-plane and set the width equal to B2. Hide the main body, select the right plane, and create a sketch. Create a horizontal axis intersecting the origin, and create a shape of the flange.
the thickness of the flange is equal to Tc. The bottom and the top thickness should be the same. The small diameter is equal to DC3. The middle diameter is equal to DC2. The big diameter is equal to DC1. The horizontal width of the flange is equal to SC. The horizontal offset from the origin is equal to B1 divided by 2. Revolve the sketch around the axis. Select the front plane. Select the mirror feature and select the body of the flange to be mirrored. Unhide the main body and you should now have a three solid bodies. One for the pulley and two for the flanges. Now we will create simplification of the teeth so the pulley looks good on drawings. Select the features which create the teeth and group them into a folder. You should be able to suppress the folder without any errors. If you get errors or the model doesn't look like mine, you probably created some unnecessary dependencies which you have to remove if you want to continue in the tutorial. Roll back to the beginning and left only the basic cylinder. Create axis for the cylinder. Roll back after the teeth folder and suppress the folder. Select the front plane and sketch a circle. With dimension equal to D2. Extrude the sketch. Select mid plane. And set the width equal to B1. Select the right plane and create a new plane. The second reference is the cylinder axis. For the first reference, select the angle option and input 0 degrees. This will allow you to change the angle of the tooth cut for different view angles on the drawings. Select the new plane and create a sketch. Select the plane and the cylinder surface and click on the intersection curve function. Create two rectangles from the intersection lines. And set the vertical sides to be equal to each other. Dimension the distance between the inner lines to be equal to D3. Extrude cut the sketch and select through all. This cut is for the teeth simplification. Roll back to the end of the feature tree and group the three simplification features into a folder. You should be able to change the angle of the simplification plane. You should also be able to suppress the teeth simplification folder and unsuppress the original teeth folder. You can create configuration for the original teeth and for the simplified teeth. Sometimes you need one or the other. You can also change the tooth number and the model should update. Now that the pulley is finished, you can continue modeling whatever features you need. For example, a bore for a shaft. 
You can also save the model as a part template and use it whenever you want to work with pulleys. At the end, you can rename the features and give them more meaningful names. If you want to model other types of timing pulleys, you can change the constant parameters in the equations. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section.